recently we celebrated the 100th anniversary of the Japanese actor Toshio Mifune. He is a screen legend, truly one of the best actors of all time, who has starred in countless films, and his main collaborator was Akira Kurosawa. And I've never talked about Akira Kurosawa on this channel, and while I would not consider it to be one of my favorite directors in terms of being someone that I actively sought out, that I actively go back to, um, I do really, really, really love his films. And today I wanted to briefly talk about his seminal masterpiece, which is 1954's Seven Samurai. And Seven Samurai is undeniably so a masterpiece, a perfect film, one of cinema's greatest achievements, and one of the most influential films ever made. We've seen this story many, many times, and it's been copied. Most of Akira Kurosawa's work has been copied many times, including A Fistful of Dollars, which copied the main story of Yojimbo, and Seven Samurai itself was copied for The Magnificent Seven. And it's this back and forth between East and West, and Seven Samurai has been influential for a whole bunch of other films, mainly the concept itself of a group of soldiers, in this case of samurais, of ronins, who band together to protect a village who is going to be under attack by a group of bandits. And this is an incredibly simple narrative concept. It's almost simplistic, some might say, but what makes it special is the characters and the length of the film. Uh, usually, films like this are like 90 minutes to two hours long, maybe, who knows? Well, Seven Samurai is over three hours long, in fact, almost three and a half hours long. And for good reason, because if you watch, if the film was just the first, I don't know, half an hour, just these people banding together and then an hour of the attack or something like that, sure, an enjoyable action film, but it would lack bite. It would be something closer to 13 Assassins, um, which is also a remake, the one I'm talking about, the Takashi Miike film, which is also a remake in its own right, but it's quite similar to Seven Samurai, uh, almost unashamedly so. And in that case, my main problem with the film was that you don't really care that much about the characters, they're all indistinguishable from one another, even though you do spend time with them, but it's all kind of lackluster. When Seven Samurai, you get to know every single character. They all have their flaws, they all have their perks, they're all deeply human. And Toshiro Mifune, as always, is the standout in the film. He's a very cartoonish character, but still grounded in a reality that makes sense in the film. And he's a bold character, he's a brave character, he's a funny character. And the other car and he plays very well with the other actors as well in the film. And the action, the way it is shot, it's quite unconventional for today's standards, mainly using uh, static camera angles, but there is an intensity to it. There is a visual poetry, a beauty that is just absolutely unparalleled for the time. Um, even the entire, like, going from left to right, how the eye moves through the screen, it keeping the momentum going, having an escalating battle that lasts for multiple minutes, having uh, a victory and a defeat, some characters die, some characters struggle. It's this crescendo of intensity, of violence, that is absolutely mesmerizing to watch, also coupled with a phenomenal score, um, truly the stuff of dreams, the sets, the costumes, also mostly shot on location, which is as well impressive. Um, it's an absolutely masterful film, and at over three hours long, it moves at a very fast pace. And once you watch it, it is one of those films that you've always heard about, everyone knows about The Seven Samurai, they don't necessarily know anything else other than the name itself or the basic premise. But once you watch it, you see how many directors have been inspired by it, you see why it's so beloved, and you see why it's considered an absolute masterpiece of cinema. And again, I love most of the films that I've seen by Akira Kurosawa, Ren is another one of my favorites, Rashomon, Ikiru. Um, I would not consider him a personal favorite because, I don't know, they're just... they're never films I go back to. I watched them once, I really love them, I really appreciate them, uh, but I never feel the need to revisit them. Which is fair enough, but again, I would deeply, highly, highly recommend you guys check out the films by Akira Kurosawa and especially Seven Samurai because it's a damn fine film. But still, guys, if you watched Seven Samurai, in which is your favorite Akira Kurosawa film, tell me in the comments below. Thanks for watching and to like, comment, subscribe. 
and I'll see you in the next video.